Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another sort of Convalaria video. And today I'm once again going to lean into the drama a little bit surrounding the content creator scene for sort of Convalaria, the devs for the game, and just the just what's going on right now because this morning i will tell you i was kicked out of the content creator program now before i dive into the drama i want to say right here and i'm going to stress this a couple times i have no hard feelings towards the development team of this game in fact they've been nothing but cordial to me in my talks with them in fact even in the message that i got saying that i was kicked out of the program the person writing that message whose name i will keep you know private but a lot of people probably know who it was they were nice to me, right? And I didn't directly respond to the message. I needed to go through how I felt about it, but I don't regret the decisions I've made. I don't regret working with this development team. However, I do think they've made some very silly decisions when it comes to the state of their game in global versus how they are handling the content creators who they invited into this program and have changed the rules on us several times. So let me give you the story a little bit here. Let's, let's jump into, well, yeah, let's start by jumping into the game. Now, previously with sort of convalaria and this will be relevant before a new units banner came out there would be some kind of notification in the game saying that this banner was about to drop right here we've got shadowy rose like something like this this dropped the shadowy rose thing dropped as the banner dropped and under the new rules for content creators that again this these have changed several times but under the current iteration of rules for content creators in the content creator program we are not allowed to use any information from the test server about this character until the news of the character dropped in the game client. Now, if you're somebody like me and you like to make previews for characters and things like that, the preview, the should you pull video, in my mind, I like to release that stuff two, three days before the character comes out, let people kind of watch that video, let it soak in a little bit, either build up some hype, you know, so maybe dampen the hype a little bit. And it's not like by releasing a video about Sophia a couple days early, I was leaking that she was going to come out. As you could see on the Sword of Convalaria Twitter, 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 whatever I just said, October the 4th, oh, excuse me, X, on the Sword of Convalaria X page, on October the 4th, they released that Sophia was going to be the next unit dropped. And it's not very hard to conjecture what date she's going to come out, e even just from this one post with a little video that doesn't specifically say. Because you can go to the current new banner, new character banner, and whenever that one ends, this one's gonna come out, right? But technically speaking, this was not released in game yet. And to be fair, I had read the rules. On the day this came out, I made videos about Sophia. I actually made two videos and I ended up only releasing one of them because I was trying to follow the rules. I was waiting for some info in the game to drop it just never did. And eventually these videos that I make, and I don't rely on my, my income from my YouTube videos as my sole source of income, but it is significant to my life. And if I'm trying to make previews of units and I'm not allowed to release those previews until the unit's literally out, it's no longer a preview, right? It, it needs to become a different content thing at that point. And this is where the type of video I was making and our current version of rules stopped kind of aligning with themselves. And so what I decided to do was just drop one of my videos about two days ago now and just see like, hey, you know, we'll just see kind of how they play that out. This morning, they sent me a message. I will show you the message on screen. And again, I'll block out the name of you know, who the message was from, but here it is. This is literally the message just saying, hey, you broke the rules in the guidelines. And so now we're gonna have to kick you out of the program. Thanks for understanding. You're still welcome to like play the game and all of that. It's not a bad message. It's really not an awful message. And uh, all the work I've done with the dev team, we've been very cordial to each other. However, I did write a message back and I would like to read what I said here because after thinking about it, I, I saw my message at like, let's say 6 a.m. this morning. So about four hours later, I'm sitting at work. I have a little break in the day and I'm kind of responding to some other people talking about like purple platypus, you're leaving the content career program. And I said, hey, I got the boot today as well. No hard feelings for me. I most definitely violated the rule that we all hate. And trust me, when they changed the rule from you could release content as soon as they announced it to you can't release content until they've announced it in the client, yeah, the, the, the Discord kind of blew up at that point. So I did break that rule. And by letter of the agreement, I deserve to be kicked out. Adios. 
Uh, the rule is a major handcuff on content creators who like to do previews of things that literally exist in other versions of the game. And I can just go find the info in another way and gain a large advantage over people beholden to the rule. So what I mean is, and this is one of the reasons why I think this is such a silly rule, there are other versions of Sword of Convalaria where if I just go install the other version, I could just go look at Sophia's info or go find a website that has info on the other version of the game. Like there's so many other ways for me to get the info that I talked about in my video besides the test server. The test server was just convenient and it was maybe a little bit more graphically pleasing, but I could still just go find that info and still make the exact same video. So therefore, I'm kind of in this like quandary of like, I mean, how are they going to like, look, I'm just saying, I'm not gonna quit doing my preview videos. So I made one, they kicked me out. I think the rule's silly. And if you're, they, there, I said what I said. Three. This, this character release cycle in-game news about the character still isn't out, and that was of 10 a.m. this morning. So the character's two hours from going live where I live, and they still haven't announced it in-game, despite announcing it, what, like seven days ago on Twitter and tweeting about it several more times after that. Um, I filmed the preview slash should you pull video a week ago for the unit when it was announced, and I've just been sitting on it. If I, des I decided at some point just to post it before it became irrelevant because I just didn't want the work I did to go to waste, honestly. And then lastly, even though I'm out and I think the new rules are very poorly thought out, I do thank the dev team for working with me to this point, and I still plan on playing and covering the game, and that is all true. Like, I am still planning on playing as at least as much as I have been, if not more, and talking about the game in the way I want. I honestly feel like removing myself or being removed. I didn't quit. I got fired. Well, you have to be paid to get fee. Anyway, I got kicked out. I didn't quit. Let's be clear. And this is a, <laughs> I chose to break a rule and they kicked me out. I don't want to mislead anybody here. Um, anyway, I will now be able to just cover the game in more of a way that I want without being beholden to some rules that have changed three times. And honestly, they've changed in response to certain other creators really, really breaking some rules. And I mean, like talking about um, one thing that was kind of clear to us for a long time, I think, was not talking about events that were coming out before they came out. And definitely other creators have done that. There's been a few videos that have been released maybe by other people that clearly weren't um that were clearly maybe breaking some of our older rules and instead of punishing those people everyone's rules changed and I, as a teacher i could just tell you that's not an effective way of managing a group of people if you have one child in your class who's acting up and breaking the rules and you have a bunch of other kids who are maybe just kind of skirting that line you punish the kid who's really breaking the rules and then everybody else sees okay that, that's what we can't cross. That's that line we can't cross, right? Punish the nail that sticks out, right? Like punish the kid who needs punished, not the whole group for the actions of one or two individuals is what I'm trying to say. And again, this is me just being like, hey, look, if I'm not in the content creator program anymore, fine. I just won't be. In fact, right now, there currently isn't a content creator program anymore. They've said there's another one coming, but they said that like half a month ago, and they still have not told us any information about it. They've been slow to respond to requests, slow to hand out rewards for the program anyway, and I appreciate my time in there, but for now, I'm just going to... I'm just going to accept the fact that I'm not a part of it anymore, but I am still going to cover the game. So I wanted you guys just to... I've already received some messages about this today. And I was like, well, you know what? I'll make a video on it. Just kind of announce what happened to everybody. There it is. Okay. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.